In this video, we're going to talk about git commit best practices and how to improve your commits. I'll provide you with 5 plus 1 bonus tip for creating better commits than your colleagues. So keep watching the video until the end. Tip number 1. Write clear commit messages. Commit messages have to be clear and easy to understand and no longer than 50 characters. If you are adding detailed description or body, you can wrap it up to 70 characters. Always use imperative mode when writing commit message, which means instead of writing fixed bug, you should write fixed bug, or instead writing changed user authentication, you could write change user authentication. Think about this as a giving an order to your commit to do something. Tip number two, commit small logical changes. Focus on just single task or issue and avoid fixing multiple bugs in the same commit. Why? Because when fixing a single bug or doing one change per commit, it is easier to check changes, see related commits, revert changes or cherry pick commits if necessary for another branch. Also, on the other hand, it is easier for code review, so reviewers could focus at one bug or feature at time and think about that logic. Another possible issue when committing multiple tasks at a time is that it can cause merge conflicts that are harder to solve, especially when working on multiple files. And finally, it is taking more time to work on multiple tasks than to focus on a single task per commit. Tip number 3. Use descriptive commit messages. Describe what and why the changes were made, instead of just how. As this provides context to someone in the future, will for some reason go through commits and uh, to find specific changes to some features or bug fixes. So avoid typing fixed login page error and suggested would be like fix login page error caused by wrong API call. So this commit message gives some context and explains what and why happened uh, here in the fix. Tip number four, avoid committing sensitive information. This is really important. Every time when making changes and committing files, make sure that you are not committing some sensitive information that could be uh, accessed or seen by everybody who has access to code, such as API keys, credentials or config files. These should be stored on different locations. Tip number five, effective usage of branches. Master or main branch should always be clean. This means that they have latest developed features without anybody working on master branch directly. Instead, you should use a feature branches for development. Following this approach is easier to isolate changes and work on them and merge when necessary. Also giving you a possibility to save changes on a branch and switch to another one and complete some works and then go back and work uh, or continue working where you left it. And finally, in the end, bonus tip that I mentioned at the beginning. Use commit types. What are commit types? Commit types are prefixes before a commit message to describe which type of commit is there. So for example, you have a feed that represents a new feature or code base to the code base, or we have a fix that represents a bug fix or docs or style or factor test true so these are some prefixes or commit types that you could use and agree with your type team to work on them why because it is easier to find and to see which commit message or commit is actually doing what there so for example you could type a feed and add loading a loading spinner when fetching data or fix handle server response and so on and so on and in the end, this is it when it comes to these uh, commit uh, best practices that I have for you. If you like the video, please co comment uh, down below, like or subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.